There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued, and the prospect of knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be exploring three recent discoveries delving into the center of the Milky Way, inexplicably large clouds floating solo in space, and the possibility of mini bullet-like black holes. Scientists discover lonely cloud bigger than Milky Way found in a galaxy. The Milky Way is big. It is our very own galaxy, which is home to our solar system, the Sun, the Earth, and surrounding planets. In a first-of-its-kind discovery, astronomers have discovered a huge floating cloud in a cluster of galaxies called Abel 1367, and this particular cloud is bigger than the Milky Way itself. The cloud, deemed an orphan cloud, is 10 billion times more massive than the Sun and is thought to be made up of extremely hot gases of temperatures up to 10 billion degrees Kelvin. While its origins are not known for certain, astronomers believe that the lonely cloud is held together by gravitational forces and that it was formed from one of the nearby galaxy clusters before later being torn out from within. The mystery surrounding this theory is that astronomers cannot explain how it is still in existence if this is the story behind its formation, as it would make more sense if the massive cloud had dissipated by now. At present, they believe the cloud could be some hundreds of millions of years old, and this hypothesis that the cloud's survival, since being separated from its host galaxy, could be down to surrounding magnetic fields. As said, the record-breaking cloud was discovered near to the Abel 1367 galaxy cluster, also known as the LEO cluster, which is comprised of more than 70 known galaxies and is 330 million light-years away from Earth. If you thought the cloud's temperature of 10 million degrees was scorching, the LEO galaxy cluster reaches up to 100 million degrees Kelvin, which is insane to say the least. Despite being found near to this colossal cluster, the orphan cloud is named as such since it is not actually formally associated with any of the galaxies within the Leo cluster, but rather it lies in some form of no galaxies land. Astronomers find huge, previously unknown cluster of stars. The Milky Way is a hot topic for conversation in the world of recent discoveries. Not only has it been bested by an orphan cloud, but astronomers have now uncovered a huge cluster of stars at the center of our galaxy. Labeled an ancient stellar population, astronomers believe the cluster was once a globular cluster in our galaxy, which over time migrated towards the center of the Milky Way to where it was then discovered. The center of the Milky Way is in fact quite densely populated with stars, with a higher concentration of them than most other parts of the universe, making the location of the find perhaps not all that surprising. More specifically, it contains 20 million stars spread across a distance of 26 light-years. Interestingly though, the very center of the Milky Way was only discovered last century, and so while it's relatively close to home, a mere 25,000 light-years away from Earth, we are still in the process of uncovering huge amounts of information about this region. Not only is it a relatively recent discovery in itself, let alone this new cluster of stars, but a lot of research had since been focused on the massive black hole which also lies at the center of the Milky Way. Back to our newly found giant cluster of stars, it is thought that the cluster is only about 7,000 light years away from Earth and is also roughly 75 million years old, so middle-aged when it comes to stars. Although only discovered in 2020, the brightness of the stars within this cluster, called Valparaiso 1, is so intense that you can observe them with a telescope from Earth, in your back garden for example, somewhere near to the Sagittarius constellation. This makes the lateness of the discovery even stranger, as it is a well-observed and well-charted part of the night sky. Astronomers have since explained that owing to the distances of stars in the Milky Way and neighboring galactic orbits, it can sometimes be more difficult than one may think to observe clusters at the center of the Milky Way. 
Still, Valparaiso 1 is estimated to contain approximately 10,000 solar masses within its cluster, meaning it is not all that small, and so astronomers do admit that it going under the radar for so long is puzzling. With clusters of 10,000 stars being discovered so close to home, at the very heart of the Milky Way, a well-researched area, who knows what else is out there, both near and far from us, waiting to be discovered. Miniature black holes may be hitting Earth. Black holes are one of those things, a bit like dark matter, that still confuse but also massively intrigue us about the universe. We all know how they stretch light and matter into their vacuum-like existence, making spaghetti out of anything that falls into their reach. But is there more to the story of the black hole than we think? Scientists, in fact, now believe that the universe could be absolutely filled with tiny black holes, hurtling through space like cosmic bullets. Why do they think this? Well, they are slowly running out of ideas to explain what the universe is made up of. And while dark matter is a mysterious yet popular answer, it only accounts for 80% of the universe. Their new supporting theory is therefore loads of tiny black holes which have been around since the beginning of time. This does not necessarily solve much, though. For more than 80 years, astrophysicists have failed to discover even the smallest amount of proof that such a thing as dark matter exists, and that it does indeed dictate the gravitational forces which keep the remaining 20% of the universe, the normal, visible matter, in check. Similarly, the new tiny black holes theory does indeed help to avoid the reality that we have no clue what the universe is made up of but also falls short on the actual evidence front. NASA cosmologists therefore admit that they are running out of ideas fast, and possible sources of tangible evidence are also running scarily low. In terms of these hypothetical miniature black holes hitting Earth, if they do exist, it is of course possible. And although tiny, much smaller than an asteroid, more like a grain of rice, they could cause devastation, it is thought, through deformation and intense heat levels. However, scientists working on this theory believe they would only pass by the Earth roughly once every 100 million years. So whether these mini black holes are science fiction or fact, you will not have to worry about one hitting you just yet. Every day we solve one mystery, discovering something new, while creating new dilemmas for future generations to solve. Equally, trying to solve existing puzzles is by no means easy, and the possibility that there are things we simply will not know the answer to seems to scare us by nature. Yet, time and time again, science proves that there truly is no limit to what is out there for us to learn. In fact, it is only ever increasing by the day. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.